Hey there, today I'm gonna show you how you can take professional style headshot photos right at home using your iPhone. First up is finding the best light and location. Both are equally important. Find the room in your home that gets the most natural light during the day and open up all the blinds to let in as much light as possible. Grab a chair and find a neutral wall or space free of distraction or artwork. Place the chair a few inches away from the wall. Remember, the space used as your backdrop doesn't have to be a big area. Just clear out a small section, and as you can see, we've moved some stuff around so we can use a small section of a blank wall. In this situation, the most light is coming through the sliding glass door. So I'm gonna have Emily slightly turned in the direction of the door, so the light is hitting her face instead of hitting the side of her head. Also make sure that the hair on the shoulder closest to the camera is pushed to your back. If you have a friend taking these photos for you, make sure that they are standing with the camera slightly tipped down towards you for the most flattering angle. You can also do this with the use of a tripod and the camera timer on your phone. Here's a few things to avoid when picking out an outfit. Most patterns and stripes are actually okay, but you do want to avoid any graphic tees or large logos, which can be distracting. Don't be afraid to accessorize with jewelry, but do avoid any hats or anything that might cover or slightly cover your face and neck, such as a bulky scarf. Once you're ready to take your photos, Open up the camera app on your phone and click portrait mode at the bottom. Next, click on the icon of the letter F with a circle around it in the top right corner. This allows you to manually adjust the depth of field or blurriness in the background. Move the slider down to the smaller numbers. I chose 2.2. Make sure you can't see anything else in the background besides for your intended backdrop and fire away. A lighting and location mistake that you want to avoid is shooting in a location where the light is coming in behind you. This creates an effect called backlighting where the subject is dark and the background is light. If you want to take your headshot photos a step further, you can also do a few minor edits right in your camera app. Select the photo and click edit in the top right corner. First, I'm increasing the exposure. Tone down the highlights to avoid any overly bright areas, especially on the face. Bump up the shadows and now slightly increase the brightness. Anytime you increase brightness, you always want to increase saturation ever so slightly. And lastly, add a little bit of pop by increasing the sharpness. And there you have it. So what do we think? Not too shabby. Thank you so much for watching how to take headshot style photos at home with your iPhone.